What's up guys, it's your boy Caleb Talks and welcome back to another video. Before we get to that, uh, I just gotta, I just gotta like thank you guys for the, uh, waiting over this long break. Uh, it's been really annoying for me to uh, have to take this break, but um, I'm back and I'm ready to get right into making some more quality content. Oh, without further ado, <laughs> let's get right into the video. Last few years, uh, modern culture has developed a term called the friend zone. I've gone through my years in high school, I've become more and more accustomed with the friend zone, so much so that I feel like I should relay my knowledge to you guys. Here are the five stages of the friend zone. So the first stage isn't really part of the friend zone. You see, it's what I like to call the not so friend zone. So I like to describe this as the time where before this you were like, who's that weirdo over there, you know? You never really knew this person at all. And then maybe, um, maybe you guys somehow, groups come together for some trip or, uh, you know, for some camp or something. And then, you know, you, you know, you may make some, you may say some kind of like funny joke or you might just, uh, I don't know, you guys might have just like uh, had like uh, a mini conversation, you know. You kind of first acknowledge uh, the other person's existence. And as you talk more and more, you move into the stage I like to call the first stage of the friend zone. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, 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 it's a great name. I mean, I, I, I knew I could think of a, a, an amazing name like that. I mean, seriously, I... I I am the nicknamer of all, all centuries time. This is where you move into initially become friends, or as some people like to say, you become their acquaintance, you know? You guys uh, see each other sometimes when you guys get in groups and stuff, and you know, you guys can like, you guys have like funny like, you know, little talks, you know? Uh, and y you know, it's just, uh, you guys don't really know each other closely yet but you guys are get you're getting there you know you you guys are just uh, kind of slowly talking the third stage is something i like to call two minutes later yeah i'm not doing this i like to call thing i, I mean i i i don't really um have anything so uh yeah i, I don't really have a thing to call this but basically basically you guys just uh, you know you guys just become better friends like you guys uh are talking more, you know, uh, you guys might like start like physical contact, like high fives, you know, and stuff. So you guys, you're, you're getting to um, an area where you're just, you're talking more and you're just becoming a better friend, you know. Calculate to the fourth layer, which I like to call, yes, I actually came up with a nickname, nickname for this one, the best friend zone, yes. You guys become super good friends. You guys, you guys just become like the greatest friends ever, and uh, uh, you guys, you know, you guys hug often. You're you're just you just like chill with each other all the time. You're super comfortable around each other. Um, you guys tell each other secrets. I mean, it's 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 um it's a great life. I mean, I've 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 rare for me. I mean, I've rarely experienced this, but. I mean, it, it, it's definitely a place where uh, many guys uh, find themselves on the edge, of, on the precipice of decision, you know? This is where the guy usually, if they, he didn't have feelings for the girl before, this is where he usually develops it. When a guy is in this position where he likes a girl, he does one of two things, is nothing. He just, you know, he just lets the question eat at him. Does she like me? Does she like me back? He lets the question eat at him from the inside. So you don't know where you are. You're just kind of like going around. You're just like, what's going on here? I don't, I don't know. Or the second thing the guy does is that he just, you know, he just goes in. He just goes head on. Yeah, he actually has some courage. Uh, this never happens, by the way. <laughs> and he actually has some courage, and he goes and asks the girl, and he asks the girl out. And well, the girl either accepts him, and uh, they live happily ever after for like a month, and then they break up, or she rejects him, and well, 
he's gonna be depressed for the next few years. Of course, very rarely is this fifth stage of the friend zone unlocked. And uh, yes, I have a quality nickname for this one too. Yes, it is the more than friend zone. I am so good at nicknames. Yeah, so basically by all this, uh, I just said a bunch of BS because um, um, if you didn't know, I've never been to this stage of the friend zone and I know nothing. So yeah, that's always a great thing. Uh, so that's weird. But yeah, I mean, that's it. That, the, those are the five stages of the friend zone. Now, if I missed anything, uh, y'all guys can hit me up in the comments, but I, I think I really, really established, I think I really got all the, hit all the boxes here, because of course, I have, I have a bit of experience just dealing with the friend zone, but yeah, uh, um, uh, that's, that's basically it. Of course, a question that come, will probably come up in this is, what are my experiences in the friend zone? And that will be a cool story, bro, that it will be coming out next week. So you guys watch out for that. Thank you guys for watching another Caleb Talks video. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, you know what to do. Uh, leave a like, uh, leave a subscription. <laughs> and uh, also just, uh, I guess, be cool, you know, be cool. Um, one thing you, you should probably do is uh, share the video uh, with your friends so they can subscribe to me and so we can have some channel growth. Channel growth? Because, I, I mean, my channel has been growing a lot recently. A lot recently. Like, uh, I, 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 when I remember when I made that New Year's Day Q&A and I said I had 33 subscribers, I almost have 60 now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm growing. And uh, I honestly... Um, can't wait till we reach 100. I mean, 100 will be the, that, that'll make, that, that'll make me elated. I'll post it everywhere, guys. I'll post it everywhere. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. And, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see y'all, uh, next time.